party. Let's check it out. Cute. Holding, I would say. There's something in in her arc where she, body-wise, I'm looking at kind of like this area. She goes and then just kind of drops. Goes to the right and stops. Get a bit more of an overshooting arc. And that drop here is very linear. She just comes to a stop so that your your TY feels like it's doing that. As opposed to easing down and up a bit. I just signal the step and body weight in there. Uh, on the head turn here, just through this section, I'm not seeing much in here and the chest. Even if it's minimal, you want a little bit of interaction there. I guess you're moving the shoulder. I'm not sure. The thing is, what I'm not seeing is this is still one line, and you want to have that shoulder be this high. You want a clear difference in the shoulder height. Um, you were saying I already fixed the shoulder, and I probably make more turns of the upper body. It's just I don't. It's just not visible in, in your scene. Even through here, you can still see how this is straight, even though that arm is up, so this shoulder will be higher. And then this comes up to the same height here. So I don't see I just don't see the shoulders pushed to the degree to the degree that they should. And then your eye dart through here, careful, you have a dart going this way. Which happens while the head goes this way and it's during a very big body move so we're kind of missing here here it's better you can also even through here look over here and then maybe have through this section a dart a bit lower you want to keep your darts to moments where we can actually see them so through here it's a it's too hidden through here this is cute, you're getting into, into asymmetry, which is cool. You can kind of push this one eyebrow a bit higher than the other. You can set eyelid is a bit higher. So pushing asymmetry uh, will be good there too. Very close on that one. This guy. Also harsh on that plate. Same thing here on your turn. And she turns around, I would, you know, starting here, start to slow down and ease in. She just stops, and if you look at the, uh, the spacing here, you got this, and I'm going to put on some onion skin in here. Although she wears uh, uh, red things in the back. So you're here, 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 and then it's one, and then stop. See this? From here to here. It's the red is in the same spot, or the donut, whatever. So at this point, at that speed, boom, that thing would shoot out. So you really have to look at the movement as if you were holding something like that. Same thing here. This is a very sudden drop. You can see from here to here, pow, suddenly it drops. Same thing here. That's not too bad. This is harsh. It goes from here to here to here, boom, and then it kind of stops on the same level. So again, you want to play on your, uh, you want to look at your ease ins and outs. This gets better here. That is fast too. Right there. She goes up so high and the thing is, you have your body like this and your arms like this, and then you go up and your body's like this and your arms like this. It basically means your arms are completely parented to the, to the upper body. So while that arm is here and then the body goes back, that arm will be lower here. You're going to drag on that. Again, here that drop. Boom, stops a bit too harshly. It's okay. This is a really big head move. I think your chest involvement is a, could be more. Ease in a bit more. And then here it's weird where you have your shoulders and your head kind of turned all together. So it all feels parented and linked together. So you gotta break that up more. That blink is a bit long. You don't wanna hold a blink for that long unless it's a very distinct purpose. 
right now it just feels like she's fully in action and focusing and looking at things but then it's this long blink so I would just not close that eye for so long it also feels weird in terms of she's looking out here still out here but then she's putting it down here not quite sure what she's looking at is she looking at this maybe the tricky and, and her mouth shape is always the same it always has that smile always the same width and no changes there and this feels weird where your your hand hits this and your jaw and hand open at the same time see this it's as if the the hand is like the puppet puppet hand opening the jaw so offsetting that and giving this different timing it's like your hand comes up really fast and then here really slow down so instead of doing this give this a bit of a lower arc and keep the speed a bit more constant on that hand and then slow out at the very end it's like she's about to grab it and then she stops when she stops she could widen her fingers a bit and then reacts over there and then it would cut to Yeah, I think that works. You just, I, I would just, you know, move the phone, go old school, a little bit of a movement of bling. Yeah, I think, I guess that works. It kind of jumps, but it's not too bad. She's a bit fast. How quickly she moves that phone over. Bang! Feels more like she's hitting your head. Bang! And then, you mentioned it's unfinished. Just make sure that it eases in more and she has some movement like right now she goes to this and she stops very quickly she's also very cross-eyed all the time looking inside you can widen her eyes a bit there's a bit of a drift in this hand Ooh, right there the eyes are cool though definitely just keep working on the breakdowns like in your other shots um, you know like this arm is always straight and again it's kind of attached i know it's kind of following that that upper body Uh, but yeah, eyes work work really well. There's some really cool thought process going going on in there. And then you have this one. It's cute. The problem with this one is that the forward moves kind of stop, and then she goes, stops, and goes. It's as if you you translate, feel like they're doing this, right? So she goes forward, boom, stops. And then boom, stops. Boom, stops. So again, like your movement cannot go suddenly stop, suddenly stop. It has to have a bit of an ease in. You can have little pauses, but it should always go forward a little bit. So this feels just a bit too harsh. And her arms are a bit defaulty outside. They never really bend as much, at least to that camera view. So they're always pretty straight. And you can kind of play up the contrast a bit more. They're always kind of straight, doing this arc, going back, straight, coming back, this arc. So a lot of back and forth, back and forth with straight arms. So you could play where she could start like this and then maybe, you know, they get a bit more, a bit more bends. I don't know, whatever you want to do with the posing, it's up to you, but just some more contrast in the movie. But it seems like she's still happy, so keep that feeling of uh, happiness. All right. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.